to sum up their arguments. Let's go straight to our first question, which comes from Rudo Makiana. I'm a young professional living in, and, and working in Western Sydney. Tired of renting a few months ago, I went to my bank and looked on the market to look at what it would mean for me to own my own house. I was left slightly depressed and um, shell-shocked um, how near impossible my dream would be. Can either of you tell me um, what ideas your parties have in helping young people like me become homeowners before we retire? Because at this rate, my dream house is a long way away from me. Chris Bowen. Thanks. Thanks for the question. It is a very important issue. There's lots of young families, lots of young individuals trying to get into the housing market. And it is hard. It's hard in Western Sydney. It's hard in many places. There's two big things that we can do to help with housing affordability. That's keep unemployment as low as possible because you've got a job. That's the best thing you can do to get into the housing market. And also to keep interest rates low. And interest rates are as low as they've ever been in Australia. But that's not enough in and of itself. They're the two big things we can do, the two really important things. We're also investing in housing affordability. Since 2008, we've put in $31 billion uh, into housing affordability in various schemes um, to help people make sure that we're eliminating homelessness, moving towards that, and trying to make housing as affordable as possible. So, and we'll continue to work across the board. There are some things state governments can do in terms of land release, there's things local councils can do. But in terms of the federal government, the best thing we can do is keep the economy strong, keep unemployment as low as possible, and keep putting downward pressure on interest rates. Time's up. Joe Hockey. Well, Chris is right. Unemployment is the key. And the fact is, in Western Sydney, it's 7.2% and rising. And uh, the government inherited an unemployment rate with a four in front of it. And now we're facing 6.25%, heading towards 800,000 Australians unemployed. You can't repay a mortgage if you haven't got a job. And from an accessibility perspective, the fact is there is just not enough supply of housing in Australia at the moment. And also access to credit is a big issue and that's why uh, one of the things we've pledged to do is have a proper financial system inquiry to try and get some more competition back into the provision of banking services so that you've got somewhere to go to shop around to get a better deal. Chris, well, there's a question of equity too, is it? I mean, uh, young people like that see their parents and grandparents were able to get into the housing market relatively easily. They can't get in. It seems like the baby boomers swallowed up all the houses. Well, uh, society has changed, the economy has changed, and now people do need to live, uh, you know, make decisions about where they live. Uh, my parents moved to Smithfield in 1971 because that's where they could afford to live. Uh, it was a good decision. I've lived there ever since. It's a great place to live. Um, but it is hard for people, and I know people want to live close to where they work, and nobody wants to be on the train or on the freeway for hours and hours. Um, but as I say, and Joe agreed, um, the best possible thing we can do, other programs are important, but being in a job and keeping interest rates yeah, low is the best possible thing. Joe Hockey, do you want to respond to that? And uh, on the question of equity, I mean, people see their parents and grandparents got easily into the housing market, they're locked out. Well, it's been a difficult time, Tony, because uh, until a few years ago, you could borrow 100% or 110% of the valuation of the property to get into a property. A lot of people, young people in particular, uh, would borrow a lot of money. Now they have to get that equity up front. And we've got to become a nation of savers in part. Uh, we've got to save that, that deposit, but also obviously the stamp duty. It depends on, on the package in each individual state. But it, it is hard. And, and the fact is, you've got to increase the supply. I mean, it's a market. Uh, there's plenty of demand and increasing demand. But what are we going to do for supply? Uh, I've got some plans on that, which we'll be talking okay. about before the That's end of the That's 30 session. seconds. Uh, we'll go down to...